something along the lines of uh, buying things on sale. Well, it's absolutely not on sale. I don't care how much money is off of it if you didn't need it in the first place. If you didn't need it in the first place. Not talking about wants, but need. If you didn't need it in the first place, then it doesn't matter how much it is because you weren't going to spend that money. So it's not a sale. So if it's something that you absolutely need, maybe you need a mattress. And they're good for, you know, 90 days, same as cash type thing. You need flooring. You're going to get some flooring in your home. No payment for two years. Things of that nature. A washer and dryer, etc. And these places off, let's say, offer, you know, 12 months, no interest. Then use them. Then use them. You're not going to incur any interest. It is a credit application. It will show up on your credit report. And if they have no interest and no payment for whatever that term is, it's going to show up on your credit report. But every month is going to look like you're making a payment with them, even if you're not, if they don't require you to make a payment, right? So you can go ahead and do this. Now, to avoid paying that interest, to avoid paying that interest, because we talked about we don't want to incur any debt, right? To avoid paying that interest, what you're going to do is on day one, when they give you your bill and they give you that balance, whatever that balance is, it's going to be the purchase price plus interest, right? Uh, uh, plus taxes, not interest, plus taxes, it'll be that purchase price. Take that amount and divide it by whatever that offer is. So if that term is six months, then you want to divide it by six months. You want to divide it by 12 months. You want to divide it by 24 months and pay that amount every month. This way, you'll make sure that you don't pay any interest at the end. And if you didn't hear anything else I said, when it comes to these things, a few, uh, not more than a few people have been burned by this. You do not want to leave a balance on these offers. A lot of people are like, oh, man, okay, I paid this you know, 200 bucks a month for the last 23 months. And I'm a little bit short. It might be a little bit short for this last month. Um, but I don't have a big balance. So what I'll do is I got a hundred bucks still on two, but I got a hundred. I'll just go ahead and pay this hundred bucks. And then the next month I'll pay that hundred dollars plus the little quote unquote, the little interest that I owe them because I only have a balance of a hundred dollars left. You do not want to leave a balance on these offers. The fine print typically says, if you do not pay it all off, if you don't pay it all off, then you're charged the interest from day one, the day that you bought it. So, if it was a 24-month term, the interest from 24 months ago all goes on to your balance. So, you don't owe that $100 plus a little bit of interest that you think you owe. You owe that hundred bucks plus all of the interest that should have been calculated had you just bought it straight out 24 months ago, right? So you do not, in our example, you don't want to leave that 200 bucks on there. You don't want to leave that 100 bucks on there. You want to make sure that you pay the whole thing off before the end of that particular term so you don't get stuck with that interest and then have to go off on somebody because they are charging you so much when you only have a balance of one 200 bucks left right so you don't want to do that so make sure if you're going to take advantage of those kinds of things it's going to go on your credit report right it should be put on Experian, equifax as well as transunion and it'll go on your credit report and it'll help you build credit and you're technically technically not building um getting any kind of debt when it comes to that situation so that's what i got for you today that's what i got for you to look Go out, go out, have a good time wherever you at. Go out, celebrate my birthday for me wherever you are. And do it safely, please. Do it safely. Wear a mask, go to a park. It's raining where I am, so it's not going to be a whole bunch of outside activity or anything of that nature. But go do that. If you want to do something for me for my birthday, I need you to like and I need you to share the show. Like, share the show. And I might as well throw in there, go to Amazon. Go to Amazon, pick up five pillars of credit, three bucks, three bucks. You can spare three bucks for the 800 credit score, man. Um, so go ahead and do that. Go to Amazon, get the book, five pillars of credit, five pillars of credit. Get that book. And I need you to like and share the show. If you can't do all three of those things, share. If you got to pick one out of the three, share. 
share the show all right share the show with your friends with your family with your network share the show with everybody all right so look thank you guys for coming in listen to the 800 credit score man show i am going to be back next week i swear i'll be back next week uh on the air once again if you've got questions if you've got show topics that you want me to cover then contact me 800 at creditscoreman.com if you want to get in on the talk that i'll be having on some platform or another that'll be tuesday may the 4th contact me and say you want to get in on that i'm gonna need your email address so i can make sure you get a flyer invitation however it's going to be i'm leaning towards zoom the place that's sponsoring it they're leaning uh, leaning towards facebook doing it on facebook so we'll see what's going to happen but contact me you guys and you know how i gotta do before i get out of here kobe Cameron and Carter I love you and there's nothing you can do about it I'm out